If you want to learn how to color grade in CapCut just like this or like this, then this video will show you how step by step. In just a minute, I will show you exactly how I color grade both of these videos from start to finish. But first, you need to learn the basics. All right, let's use this video as an example. So to do color grading for your video, first you need to click on your video and then look to the right side. You want to click on adjustment. And this is where you can find all the different settings to color grade your videos. So there's temp, there's hue, there's saturation, and many, many more like brightness, contrast, and so on. Plus, there's also HSL, which lets you do color grading for eight of the major colors like red, orange, yellow, green, turquoise, blue, purple, and pink. Now, first, I will explain to you what each of these things are. So we'll start off with the first one, which is temp. Now, by the way, temp is short form for temperature. And of course, we are talking about color temperature. So temp will make the colors in your video either warmer or cooler. When you lower the temperature, it will make the colors cooler. So the video is just going to look cooler. So here you can see if the temp is negative 50, then the color of the video will look a lot cooler and it's basically shifting the colors towards blue. And on the other hand, if we increase the temperature, a higher temperature will make the colors warmer. And you'll notice that the colors are shifting towards orange. So here you can see if I slide the temp to the left, it's going to make the image cooler and it will make the colors more blue. The more you slide it to the left, the cooler the image will look. And of course, if we slide it to the right, it's going to make the image warmer. It's going to make the colors more orange. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see a lower temperature will make the colors cooler and then a higher temperature will make the colors warmer. All right, so that's temp. Let's move on to the next one, which is hue. Now the hue slider over here, it's going to make the colors in your video either more green or more purple. So here you can see if you slide the hue towards the green, the video will look more green. And if we slide the hue all the way towards the purple side, then the video will look more purple. So let me show you real quick. If I slide it towards green, then you'll see that the colors in the video will look more green. And of course, if we slide it towards purple, then the video will look more purple. So here's the side-by-side -side comparison. If you slide it to green, it looks more green. If you slide it to purple, it looks more purple. Now keep in mind, this is the hue in the basic section. If you go to the HSL section, if I click on HSL, you can see that we actually can adjust the hue for eight of the main colors like red, orange, yellow, green, turquoise, blue, purple, and pink. And with this, you can adjust the hue of eight different colors individually. So you can do something like this. Here's what the original video will look like. And if you color grade the colors separately, you can create something like this. Now keep watching because in just a minute, I will show you how I color grade this video. But for now, let's move on. If you go back to basic, so we have talked about temp and hue. The next thing is saturation. So saturation will make the colors in your video either more vibrant, meaning it makes it more colorful, or it will make the colors more dull. So if we lower the saturation, here you can see we lower it to negative 50. That means the video will be less colorful. The colors will be more dull. And on the other hand, if we increase the saturation, then the colors will look a lot more vibrant. So if you compare this to the original video, you can see that with a higher saturation, the colors will become more vibrant, more vivid. So basically it becomes more colorful. So let me show you real quick. If I slide it towards the left, if we lower the saturation, you can see that the video will become less and less colorful. The colors become more and more dull. If we drag it all the way towards the end, the video will basically lose all of its color. And if you want to make the video more colorful, then you can just drag it to the right and you can increase the saturation. The more you increase, the more vivid, the more vibrant the colors will be, as you can see like this. So here's what it looks like side by side. A lower saturation will make the colors dull. A higher saturation will make the colors vibrant. All right, now that you know what is huge, and saturation, we can go over to the HSL section. And right now I'm going to show you how we can color grade a video by playing around with these eight colors. But first I need to show you what each of these colors will actually do. So the first color is red. Now for hue, if we slide it towards pink, that means the red colors in your video will look more pink. And if we slide the hue towards orange, that means the red colors in your video will look more orange. And then for saturation, you already know by now, if we increase the saturation, then the red color will become 
become more vibrant. If we slide the saturation to the left, if you make saturation lower, then the red colors will be more dull. And then for brightness, it's exactly what it says. If you increase it, the red colors will be brighter or it will be darker. Now moving on, we have orange and it works the same. If we slide the hue for orange, if we slide it towards the left, it's going to make the orange colors in your video more red. And if you slide it to the right, it's going to make the orange colors in your video look more yellow. So here you can see that actually the hue, it works exactly like how these colors are arranged. If we slide hue to the left, it's going to make the colors look more red. As you can see, red is on the left side of orange, right? And if we slide the hue to the right, it's going to make orange colors look more yellowish. So it's actually arranged in sequence. And then for saturation and brightness, you already know how it works. I'm not going to repeat. So moving on, we have yellow. So this would actually adjust all the yellow colors in your video. And as you know by now, if we slide the hue towards the left, you can see that it's going to make the yellow colors in your video look more orange because orange is on the left. And if you slide hue towards the right, you can see here it's green. The more you slide it to the right, the more the yellow colors will appear to be green. And then for saturation and brightness, you already know what it is. Now let's move on. Then we have green. And when you slide the hue towards the left for green, it's going to make the green colors in your video look more yellow. That's because yellow is on the left. And if you slide the hue towards the right, it's going to make the green colors look more turquoise. The more you slide it, the more it's going to look like the color on the right or on the left. Now moving on, we have turquoise. And again, you slide it to the left, it's going to make turquoise look more green. You slide it to the right, it's going to make turquoise look more blue. And the same goes for a light blue. You slide it to the left, it's going to make it look more turquoise. Slide it to the right, it's going to look more purple. And the same goes for purple and pink. So right now, I'm going to show you exactly how I color grade this watermelon video. All right, so let me add this video to the timeline. So make sure you click on the video, click on adjustment. And now I'm going to color grade this video using the HSL section. So first, I want to make the watermelon look more juicy, make it look more delicious. So I want to make the colors more vibrant. So the watermelon here is red color. So I make sure I click on the red color. And here I want to adjust the red color. So as you know by now, if I slide the hue towards the left, it's going to make the red colors look more pink, as you can see over here. If I slide it towards the right, it's going to make the red colors look more orange. So obviously I don't want any of that. I just want to make the red color more vibrant. So I would increase the saturation. So remember saturation, if you increase it, it will make the colors more vibrant. And if I lower it, then you can see that, well, the colors will become more dull and it doesn't look very good, right? So I want to increase the saturation so that the red color looks more red. And for brightness, we can either make it brighter or darker. Okay, so I'm going to make it a little bit brighter, like around 10. So let's move on to the next color. So if we go to orange, then if we adjust the hue, it's going to change all the orange color in this video. So let me just move it like this and just kind of see what exactly what are we changing. So here I can see the orange color, I'm basically adjusting the color of the table, right? And a little bit of the watermelon. So for orange, I want to make the color of the table look a little bit better. So I'm going to increase the saturation. So usually you can just play like this, just slide it all the way to the right and slide it all the way to the left so they can easily tell what these things will do. So obviously I'm going to make it look a little bit nicer. I'll increase the saturation to maybe around here. So here you can see the table looks a bit better. Originally, it looked like this, very dull. If I increase it to around 70, and maybe it's a bit too bright. I really want the watermelon to shine. So maybe you want to make it a little bit darker. Do you see the effect? Do you see the difference? Here's what it looks like originally. And if I make the table a little bit less bright, like this, then we can see that there more, there's more focus on the watermelon. All right, now moving on, I want to adjust the color of the watermelon. So this is green, right? So I'm going to click on green and I'm going to start adjusting. So first, I want to make the green more colorful, more vibrant. So let me just increase the saturation all the way to 100 and like this. And of course, let me just show you the opposite. If I do the other end, then the colors of the green will be more dull. So I'll increase the saturation like this. And I'm going to test the hue. I'm going to slide it towards the left. So here you can see if I slide it towards the left, it doesn't look very good. That's because it's going to make green color more yellowish. So I don't really want the watermelon to look yellowish. So if I slide it towards the right, you can see it looks a little bit better, right? This is what it looked like originally with zero, like this. If I slide it to the right, the green looks a little bit better. And then I want to make the watermelon more bright so I can play with the brightness. So I can increase it like this. Now let me just show you the opposite. If I reduce the brightness, it looks like that, okay? So I'll increase it to maybe around 50. So take note, when you're adjusting a color, you can also play around with the neighboring colors. So the neighboring color of green is yellow and turquoise. 
So for yellow, we can also adjust the yellow such that all the yellow colors will look more green, remember? So for yellow color, if I slide the hue towards the right, it's going to make all the yellow colors look more green. You see how it works? So I want to make the watermelon look as green as possible. So let me just do a quick test. I'm just going to slide the hue to the left. And here you can see that if we adjust yellow color, it also affects the color of the watermelon, right? It doesn't look good if I slide it to the left. That's because if I slide the hue to the left, it makes all the yellow look orange. And if I slide it to the right like this, oh, you can see that the watermelon looks really good. That's because we are adjusting the yellow to be more green to the right like this. So this definitely looks a lot better than what it looked like previously. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to increase the hue like this to make all the yellow colors in the video green and i'm going to increase the saturation to make it look a little bit more vibrant like this and then for brightness let's just test it out if i increase it then it's a little bit too bright if it's too bright and too colorful it can look fake so let's test the other side if we lower the brightness a little bit it's going to look something like this so maybe we will just lower the brightness a little bit so that it creates this feeling where there's a little bit of a shadow. All right, next, I want to adjust the color of the sea behind. So the sea is obviously blue or turquoise. So uh, let me just go to turquoise and let me just adjust the hue. I want to make the sea color more blue. So here you can see this is turquoise. If I slide the hue to the right side, it's going to make all the turquoise look more blue, which is what I want. So let me just slide the hue towards blue. Here you can see it's very obvious. As I slide it to the right, it looks more blue. But we don't want to do it too much because that doesn't look real. So maybe to around here. And let's just test out the saturation. So if we slide it to the left, it's, it's going to make the colors look more dull. If I slide it to the right, it's going to make it look more blue like this. And then for brightness, again, we can test it out. Usually you just want to slide it to both sides so you can see it, obviously what's happening. So let's just reduce the brightness a little bit like this. And now let's continue adjusting blue. So I'll go to blue and let me just test out the hue. If I slide it to the left, then it doesn't look exactly what I want. If you slide it to the left, then the water becomes turquoise. That's not what I want. Then for saturation, we can test out. If I slide it to the right, then it looks a little bit too unrealistic. It looks a bit fake. So let me just lower it a little bit to around here. And then for brightness, we can test it out again. And in this case, you notice that if I lower the brightness, it looks a little bit better like this, okay? So right now, if I play the video, you can see this is what it looks like. So first, let me just add back the original video so you can see what it looked like before. This is before. Originally, it just looked like this. The sea is kind of dull. The watermelon doesn't look very good. The table is just dull. And the video with the color grading, it looks something like this. So the watermelon looks a lot nicer, looks more appetizing, the table looks more orange, and the sea is actually blue. So this is how I color grade from start to finish. All right, now let's move on to the next section. We have brightness, contrast, highlight, shadow, and illumination. So let's start off by talking about brightness. So brightness will make your video either brighter or darker. So it's kind of obvious. If we lower the brightness, the video will look more dark. And if we increase the brightness, then the video will look more bright. So let me just quickly show it to you. If I slide it to the left, the more you slide it to the left, the darker it is. And the more you slide it to the right, the brighter the video will look. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. A lower brightness will make the colors more dull. A higher brightness will make the colors a little bit more vibrant. All right, moving on, we have contrast. So contrast will make the colors in your video contrast with each other. It will stand out from each other or if we lower it, then the colors will blend together. So if we lower the contrast, that means the difference between the bright and the dark colors are less noticeable. The colors becomes faded and the colors kind of blend together. And if we increase the contrast all the way up, we can see that there's a huge difference between the bright and the dark spots. So it becomes very noticeable. That's why it's contrast. So the higher the contrast, the more obvious the light and dark colors will contrast. So let me show you real quick. If I lower the contrast, you can see that the colors will blend together. And on the other hand, if we increase the contrast, then it's going to make the colors between the light and dark colors more noticeable. All right, moving on, we have highlight. So highlight will make the brightest parts of a video even brighter or darker. So if we lower the highlight like this, you can see that the bright parts of the video will become darker. And if we increase the highlight, it's going to make the bright parts of your video even brighter. So let me show you real quick. If I lower the highlight like this, it's going to make the bright parts darker like this. So basically the whole video looks dark. And on the other hand, if I increase the highlight, it's going to make the bright parts of the video even brighter, just like this. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. A lower highlight will make the bright parts more dull. 
and a higher highlight will make the bright parts even brighter. Alright, let's move on to the next one, which is shadow. So shadow will make the darkest parts of your video even darker or brighter. So here you can see if we reduce the shadow all the way down to negative 50, it's going to make the dark parts of your video even darker. So it's the opposite of highlight. And if we increase the shadow, it will make the dark parts of your video brighter. So let me show you real quick. If we lower the shadow, it's going to make the dark parts even darker like this. And if we increase the shadow, it will make the dark parts brighter. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. If we lower the shadow, it's going to make the dark parts of your video darker. And if we have a higher shadow, it's going to make the dark parts of your video brighter. So as you can see, shadow and highlight is basically the opposite of each other. For highlight, you're adjusting the bright parts of your video. And then for shadow, you're adjusting the dark parts of your video. Now let's move on to illumination. Now illumination will make the overall lighting of your video brighter or darker. So here you can see if we lower the illumination, it's going to make the overall lighting of your video to become darker, just like this. And if we increase the illumination, you can see that it will make the overall lighting of your video to be brighter. So let me show you real quick. If we reduce the illumination, then the overall video lighting will become darker. And if we increase the illumination, it's going to make the overall lighting in the video brighter like this. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see a lower illumination makes the overall colors more dull and a higher illumination it makes the colors more vibrant. All right, let's move on to the last section. We have sharpen, particles, fade, and vignette. So let's talk about sharpen. So sharpen makes the edges and details more distinct and crisp. Here's what the original looks like with sharpen at zero. And if we increase the sharpen all the way to 100, here's what it looks like. It might not be obvious to you. So let's zoom in. And here you can see, if you just look at her sunglasses here and here, you can see that's actually a difference. So let me just zoom in one more time. Here you can see for this image over here, this video, we have sharpen at 100. So if you look at the sunglasses over here and over here, you can see that the edges and details, it's more obvious. It's more crisp. It's more detailed, right? And if you look at her teeth here and here, you can see that if we have a higher number for sharpen, then it, the edges, the details are more distinct and her hair as well. If you look at it side by side, almost everything is more detailed and more crisp. So as you can see, Sharpen will make the edges and details to be more distinct and more obvious. So let me show you real quick. If I increase the Sharpen like this, you notice that the edges and details in the video will look more distinct and more crisp. But just be careful. You don't want to just increase the Sharpen all the way up because it can look very unnatural and very fake. So anyway, that is Sharpen. Let's move on to Particles. So Particles make the video grainier or speckled. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Here's the original video and here's the video with Particles all the way up at 100. So it's a bit hard to see. So let's just zoom in. And here you can see it's quite obvious. If you look at the video on the right side, it's very grainy and very speckled, right? On a side-by-side -side comparison. And here's another part of the video. You can see that if you increase the particles, then the video will look more grainy. So let me show you real quick. If I increase the particles all the way up, we can see that the video becomes very, very grainy. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is fade. So fade makes the colors in your video washed out or faded. So here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. If we set the fade all the way up to 100, you can see that the colors will look very faded or washed out just like this. So let me show you real quick. If you increase the fade like this, the higher the fade, the more washed out the colors will be just like this. All right, let's move on to the last one, which is vignette. So vignette lets you make the corners either shadowed or highlighted. So if you lower the vignette like this, it's going to make the corners white or highlighted. And if you increase the vignette, it's going to make the corners shadowed just like this. So let me show you real quick. As you can see, as I lower the vignette, the more I lower it, the more the corners will be highlighted just like this. And on the other hand, if I increase the vignette just like this, the more you increase it, the more the corners will be shadowed. Now, as promised, let me show you exactly how I color grade this video step by step from start to finish. All right, so I'm going to add this video to the timeline and make sure you click on the video, click on adjustment. And the first thing we can test out is to move the temperature. If you move it to the left, it's going to make the colors cooler. If I move it to the right, it makes the colors warmer. So I like to slide it both sides to just check how it looks like on both ends. And in this case, I want to make it look a little bit warmer because, well, she's at the beach, right? Then for hue, we can test it out. We can make it more green or we can make it more purple. So in this case, I want to make it look a little bit purple, okay? Maybe something like this. And now I want to make the colors more vibrant, more colorful. So I'm going to increase the saturation, but I'm just going to increase it to around 30. So take note, sometimes if you increase it too much, it just looks too fake, okay? So maybe around 30 is okay. 
So let's move on. This is the basic section. Let's move on to lightness. So we can make the video more bright or darker. So obviously I don't want to make it darker. Maybe I'll make it a little bit brighter because she's under the sun. And then for contrast, let's test it out. I like to test both ends to see how it looks like. And let's just try out like this. If I lower the contrast, it looks a little bit better compared to this, right? Because there's already a lot of bright light. So let me just reduce it a little bit. All right, let's move on to the next one, highlight. So highlight will adjust the bright parts of the video. So let me just test it out first. Nope, definitely we don't want to do that. Let's test out the other end. Okay, they'll be too bright. So I'm going to increase the highlight by a little bit. And then for shadow, we are adjusting the dark parts of the video. So let's just test out what it looks like. Okay, so I want to lower the shadow a little bit. Okay, so let me just adjust it and let's see, maybe around negative 20. Okay, let's move on to illumination. So this will affect the overall lighting of the video. So usually I test both sides, see which one looks nicer. So maybe I'll just increase it a little bit to around 10. All right, and let's move on. We can sharpen the video. So sharpen, I'll just sharpen it a little bit, but not too much. You see, if I sharpen it all the way to 100, it looks so fake. So I'll just sharpen it a little bit like this. And for particles, it's going to make the video look more grainy. So I don't want that. Then for fade, it's going to make the colors blend together. So I'm going to test it out. So maybe we'll just add a little bit of fade to smooth out the colors, blend it together. And for vignette, well, we don't really need it here, so I'm not going to use it. All right, now let's move on to HSL. This is where we can adjust the hue and saturation of eight different colors. And this will basically allow you to manipulate and adjust the colors of any video. So let's start off with red. So I'm just going to play around with the hue and just see exactly what is changing in the video. So here you can see, actually, this is adjusting the color of her skin, right? If I slide it like this, if you look at her skin on her forehead, her face, is changing. So now I know that if I adjust the red colors, it's adjusting the color of her skin. So this is red color. If I want to make her skin look more orange, I can slide it towards orange like this. This is what it looks like originally. So I want to make her skin look more orange like this because she's under the sun. And for saturation, let me just test out the other side. And if I increase the saturation, it's going to make it look a little bit more vibrant. So I'm going to set it to around 20 just a little bit. And then for brightness, let's just test it out. Okay, as you can see, it's basically adjusting her face, right? So I'm going to increase it a little bit to around 30. All right, so that's red color. Let's try out the next one, orange. So let me adjust the hue. Let me just move it like this and this. So you can see, obviously, this is changing the colors of her skin. Okay, so let's just adjust it around here. And then for saturation, this will look too orange, right? We don't want that. So I'm going to lower it a little bit, maybe like this. And then for brightness, I want to make it a little bit brighter because she's under the sun, right? But not too bright. If it's too bright, you see it looks fake. It's like out of place. It just looks like it's Photoshop. So we increase it a little bit to maybe 30. So now let's move on to the next color, which is yellow. So here you can see if we click on yellow, we are basically adjusting all the yellow color in this video. So if I just play around with the hue, you can see that it is changing the colors of the fish, the fins on the fish. So I want to make it maybe a little bit more green, maybe around 30. And then for saturation, let's just increase it to make the fins look more vibrant, but not too much, maybe around 30 like this. And then let's test out the brightness. Okay, so let's just increase it to around 60. All right, let's move on to the next color, green. So I like to adjust the hue to just see exactly what is being changed. So for this one, let's make the green more yellow. I'm going to drag it towards the left, but not too much. Otherwise, the water just turns green. So maybe somewhere around here. So at least the water looks a little bit more like turquoise. Let's increase the saturation a little bit. And let's test out the brightness. Uh, it would be better if we just lower it. All right, let's move on to the next color, which is turquoise. So we, let's play around with the hue again to see what is changing. Well, it's changing the color of the water. So for this one, let's make the water a little bit more blue. Because notice we are adjusting turquoise. If we slide to the right, it's going to make turquoise look more blue. Okay, so let's just set it to around 20. And let's increase the saturation to around 20. And then for brightness, let's just test it out. Okay, definitely no. We want to increase it a little bit. 
maybe like this. Now let's move on to the next color, which is blue. Again, let's test out a hue. Slide it to the right, slide it to the left, so you know what is changing. So we definitely don't want to slide it towards purple. It looks just too weird. Let's slide it towards left to turquoise. And let's adjust the saturation. Okay, definitely we don't want to lower it. Let's increase it to maybe around here. And then for brightness, let's test it out. Okay, we want to increase it so it looks nicer, maybe to around 30. All right, let's move on to the next color, purple. And as you can see, if we adjust the hue for purple, nothing really changes. But that's because the video doesn't have any purple color, right? So there's no difference, there's no effect when we adjust all these things like this. There's really no difference. Same goes for pink. I don't actually see a lot of pink. so. Is not really changing much except for this tiny area. So I'm just not gonna do anything. So now before I play the video and show you what the end result looks like, let me just show you the original video so you can see what it's like. Okay, so here's the original video of what it looked like before any kind of color grading. This is the before. And let me delete this. So let me play the video. So here you can see, as promised, this is exactly how I color grade a video from start to finish. Now remember, color grading is more than just making your video look good. So look, this is the exact same video, but with color grading, we can create four different moods and feelings. The first one with its warmer, sunny colors can make you feel relaxed, romantic, or even nostalgic. The next one with its purplish sky, it feels dreamy, feminine, and enchanting. The next one with the dark blue tones, it can give you a sense of calm, peaceful and quiet night. And the last one, with its grayish tones, it can create a sense of sadness, feelings of loneliness and depression. Now remember, this is the exact same video. The only difference is the color grading. So listen, you can use colors to create specific moods and feelings in the viewer. That's exactly what movies do. So when you're color grading, you want to think more than just making the colors look pretty. You want to think about the feelings, the emotions and the mood that you want to evoke in your viewer. 